more positive news, Isha, I know you probably ran out of lotion, even if you had the Costco industrial sized uh, Kirkland baby tub. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you announce it. What, what happened? Oh with, man. With the us. wild dump Kulikov, like the trash player that he is. So I was just uh, super busy with a lot of things. So I wasn't really other than plugging my YouTube channel as I do in our group chat. <laughs> I wasn't super involved. Um, but when I heard this news, came in full caps locks, you know, and just with the party emojis, I was so happy. I still think everyone in our group chat's confused as to why I dislike this player so much, especially because I think he put up his, like, almost his career high in points. Not quite, but he had 24 points last year for the Wild. Dmitry Kulikov uh, give, or given away for future considerations. I, I've i never liked this player. Maybe in his first three years with the Panthers, I was like, okay, there's this young, you know, defensive prospect coming in, blah, 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 blah. He had a lot of hype to him. And then quickly, even in, even in a team like Florida that didn't have any hype or media attention at the time, like there was some hype around this guy. And when that faded, I mean, I, I checked out. I forgot he even existed until he resurfaced on Buffalo, which was an absolute joke. And then somehow continued to have a job in Winnipeg. And then after he was in Winnipeg, I forgot he even played with the Devils and Edmonton before joining the Wild. And with the Wild, I honestly didn't think he was good at all. There was like one stretch of maybe 10 to 15 games where he was like not Jordy Ben, which whew, that's a hell of a high bar for what well, you know, if Wild fans know. You're a little bit better than Jordy Ben. The rest of the time, I mean, the best thing that he did was maybe ring the puck off the glass in trying to clear it and half the time maybe not icing it. I don't know. That's my thoughts on Kulikov. Again, props, I think we both know that you're props that he got hyper 24 points. Like I think his career high, what is it, 26 so or 28. So there you go. Um, it still didn't land you any good destination or even the team that you played with last year as you got traded away for nothing. I, you know what though? I think this is a win for both teams. I think that he is a very capable and serviceable third pairing guy. I think that just helps give a little bit more depth to a pretty thin blue line in the Ducks organization. And it helps the Wild in the sense that they just cleared up cap space. And most importantly for the Wild, cleared up a roster spot for Kalen Addison. And that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. How happy were you? Uh, it's really, I don't know if it's awesome or sad that I've been branded as the Kalen Addison super fan. I'm, I'm kind of proud I mean, of you it. You have the jersey. <laughs> My phone was blowing up uh, when yes. that happened. That's I awesome. had DMs. I had texts. Everyone's like, holy shit, is Kalen Addison's in? And like, I had to like try and like just like pause and like delay any emotion. To everyone, I'm just like, I don't know who that is. Um, <laughs> Caleb Anderson, never heard of him. Uh, dude, oh Kalen God. Addison, I'm, I'm thrilled and scared at the same time. It basically means this is a shot, right? Yeah. I think he has every bit of the talent needed to step in and play full-time minutes with the big club. And I think there's three ways this can go. Path one, which is the least desirable outcome. They realize that he's not their guy. They move him, but guess what? If that's the case, I'd rather him be moved so that he can play. Option two, proves himself and basically staples himself as being the, I'd say, anchor for that third line and or third pairing, and they're going to rotate Goose and Merrill based on who's playing better, who's healthy, whatever. Um, best case scenario, least likely, but best case scenario, Dude steps up in such a big way and shows what he can provide, becomes the power play quarterback uh, for the first group that we know that he should be, and ultimately makes them confident enough that he actually can slot up and play with Brodeen and goodbye Matt Dumba. Um, I only see that happening if there's a player that Garen wants to go after. I don't see that being the case like just to move Dumba, right, to, to get something. I think the only way that Dumba moves before the deadline is if someone comes with a big offer or there's someone out there that Billy G needs to bring in to bolster the lineup. And hmm. he says, yep, we need to get rid of this six mil. Sorry. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a new center who doesn't have a contract who is not 
let's just say is yeah, we'll get into that further away than you would ever be with an organization uh that could be available straight up for Matt Dumbo. But anyways, we'll we'll get into that later. I don't know who you're talking about then. I thought you were going a different route with this. <laughs> 